blow up. The oryx that was walking the trails of Forest Park over the weekend is now back home in his pasture off of Skyline Drive. He gave hikers uh, in the park quite a surprise Saturday after he escaped home. Coin 6's Jennifer Dowling is uh, live now with more on this animal's journey from pasture uh, back to pasture from a crowded park. Hi, Jennifer. Good evening, Cor. Yes, the oryx named Yellownose was found wandering the trails here in Forest Park yesterday. But when his owner went to scoop him back up by trailer, he refused to go into it. So finally this morning, he was tranquilized and was safely heading back home. Now, Yellownose, still groggy from that tranquilizer, was waking up this afternoon. He belongs to Reed Gleason. He's a Skyline Drive resident with about 11 of the animals, forming a small herd behind his Portland home. Reed says oryx are typically a desert animal, but they became extinct in their native region in Africa. Reed says he started with two animals a number of years ago and they began to breed and the herd grew. He says the gate was left open by a contractor by accident and yellow nose wandered out. He feels the antelope was likely spooked by a passing car or dog or person and ran a mile and a half away into Forest Park. He's always been a pretty calm antelope. Um, but he is uh, second oldest, and so he's not the dominant male. And occasionally the dominant male uh, chases everybody around to make sure that they know that he's dominant. And sometimes that, that probably encouraged him to at least leave the property maybe, and then something scared him. Now, Reed says the vet bill for the tranquilizer and assistance getting the animal into the trailer came to about $2,000. He says that he's going to be more careful about that gate in the future and may even install some other safeguards. Back to you, Cor. Jennifer, that is an expensive walk in the park.